It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that means. Just like Duke Nukem, Jason King loves anime titty Fridays on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Mmm, 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 those dulcet tones of Mr. John St. John. And listen, folks, I mean, come on, we've got to give a big round of applause to my brand new Norway Expedition t-shirt. I love Norway. I love the girls of Norway, especially because I've had frequent encounters with them when I used to be a doorman at Planet Hollywood back in the late 90s. Norwegian girls are a rare breed of woman because they're extremely voracious and know what they want on a future live stream i will tell you more about those norwegian lovelies who gave me some woody wood woody time in fact if anybody from norway is even watching this video and happens to be a fan put your comments in block letters or uppercase in case you didn't know what that meant you're the one that makes me come running you're the sun that makes me shine <laughs> And on that one, folks, here's today's video. <laughs> Hello, campers. Rise and shine. How do you write women so well? I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. Returning to the kitchen, who are you? The blind butler encounters the dumb cook. Oh, you must be the new kitchen maid. Look at me. Look at me! Professor Plum, who's looking for a way. I'm looking, I'm looking. I think the trouble is over here. While we've been doing our silly little jokes and sketches, you've been sitting there gasping, this is the greatest show I've seen in my life. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, a video clip that never gets old. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It's Spider Ma'am. Spider Ma'am does whatever a can. It is ma'am. Really? You need to settle down. Mind your business. Uh, uh, what? Okay. Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. Oh my God, so this poor guy behind the counter couldn't get the pronouns correct. Is it the he? Is it the she? What the hell is it, Captain Kremen? I have no idea. Just another mad segment of today's crazy world. I actually said both of you guys. Right beforehand, you fucking said, sir. Sir? Okay. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. Motherfucker! And later on, Mr. Tiffany Moore sat down in front of the press and said, Yes, we all need to be treated like humans. Despite the fact he carried out one of the most inhuman, intrinsic behaviors ever and decided to vandalize this GameStop shop. What a terrible human being you are, sir. Now, you're probably wondering why on earth am I revisiting this old clip? Well, it might have something to do with Pokemon Go. Or should I say, Pokemon Go? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the website of Niantic. Who? who? Well, they are the people who have published the Pokemon Go 2024 avatars. 
and wait till you see those beauties. You'll be dying with laughter. But Pokemon Go formed in 2016 for mobile devices, Android and iOS, respectively in collaboration with Nintendo and the Pokemon Company. So bearing that in mind, you've got a massive fan base. And of course, those fans were eagerly awaiting the new avatars to descend and descend. They certainly did like a dookie in your toilet. So what am I talking about? Well, thanks to thatpartplace.com, we have this article here, which was published yesterday on the 18th of April. Pokemon Go players demand Niantic reverse newly rolled out avatar changes. Why do I make everybody ugly? Says one black man from the BLM cult. I'm just kidding. But of course, when you see that dialogue, who do you think of? Niantic announced the avatar changes on Wednesday, the 17th of April, stating on social media, trainers, your avatar can now look even more like you. Now, already when I see that statement, I'm just thinking to myself, but do I need someone to represent me if I want to make my own avatar or use a completely different image? I'm going to do that. That is why it's called an avatar. We're excited to announce that the new avatar customization options are now live on Pokemon Go. So, of course, you've got these two right here, and this is the key art. And uh, look, am I an expert on Pokemon Go? Of course I'm not. It's not made for me. But, I mean, these people's reactions are just hilarious. So, Gabby said, please change it back. This update is just as bad as the remote raid nerves. Y'all, please change it back. Uh, Grace Proc Gracie noted she would stop playing if the update was not reversed. If they don't change it back within one month, I won't be playing. I'm assuming as it's a mobile phone game, you've got to pay to play, right? Uh, Annie Mouse wrote, no one asked for this, revert it. Now, this image here is pretty horrendous because on the left-hand side, you've got an attractive female. She's got curves, she's got a nice navel, she's got nice thighs. Everything about her exudes femininity. On the right side is a blob that I don't even recognize who that is. <laughs> First of all, they've made her eyes bigger. They've made her older for some bizarre reason. They've given her like an almost an extra chin below and uh, her eyebrows seem thinner. Her mouth is not that full. Her nose is slightly bigger as well, which I don't understand. Most females, when they're very attractive, have very cute, ditzy little noses. You just want to touch like that. For comedy that's right on the nose, pick the station that knows. And the shorts are longer. Oh dear, isn't that a surprise? Longer shorts, even her body socks come up to the hemlines of the shorts. So again, why are we doing that? Well, you know the reason, folks. Um, again, Melanie Mack has actually mentioned this. It's not about averting the male gaze upon the female. It's about us accepting the trans gaze, which I think is absolutely true. Now I look like a lesbian, said Fox World, not me. And again, nothing wrong with lesbians, depending on what type you like. But uh, this is god awful. It's a throwback to the 90s, actually. Zero Forehead Hire stated, that's a great name, at least he's honest about that. I'm not trying to be toxic, but what is this weird potato-shaped body going on here? Of course, referring to that, absolutely. I mean, who am I to disagree? Meanwhile, Tom DiMaggio stated, we are not androgynous. Um, what does androgynous mean, Jason? Well, glad you asked there, viewer. Partly male and partly female in appearance of indeterminate sex. Hey, Doc, is it a, is it a male or a female? And air quotes, a stunningly androgynous dancer. Can't say I've ever come across one of those at Spearmint Rhino, but there's always a first time for everything, ladies and gentlemen. Is it cold in here? So this user took to Twitter again with a Snorlax costume and wrote, current situation until the update is reverted. Oh dear God. I mean, so natural looking. I love it when my flesh clips through my clothing. I, I mean, you know, the one thing I'll say about this design, 
Nice thick thighs, shame about everything else. It's pretty awful, isn't it? I mean, you're just going through this list here. It is pretty damned hilarious. Yep, here we go. The industry has been pushing androgyny, especially orientated to male features for years. They hate women. Isn't it a shame, ladies and gentlemen, that when you refer to the gorgeous Hills Angels on the Benny Hill Show, um, I would say the formative years would be 1978 to 1983, or even the Kenny Everett Show, you now have to actually clarify that women back in the golden years of entertainment were actual biological females, unless one of them stated, well, hey, you know what, actually I wasn't, which is a very rare occurrence, to be honest. Uh, but if you scroll on down, I mean, oh God, here we go. Niantic Labs, here they are. Learn more about one of our Niantic local business recovery initiative participants. Rise Hair Studio. Wait for it. An LGBT friendly hair salon whose mission is to wait, lift others up. Oh my God. <laughs> Since having the gym, and some of you clearly need to go in the gym, we've seen a lot of activity in front of our salon, especially from younger people who are stopping by and playing the game. Do you mean younger people who you want to indoctrinate by chance, Niantic Labs? A bit of a sinister name. Oh, here we go. Oh no, I did not see this one coming. About... A pie and What? A pie and C builds transgender, non binary, no such thing, and queer API power. Through organizing in the Bay Area, we inspire and train grassroots leaders, transform our values from scarcity to abundance. That's a worrying statement and partner with organizations to sustain a vibrant movement ecosystem. In other words, you want to spread non-binary, transgender ideology and queerness all throughout your state of the Bay Area and beyond because, hey, it's 2024, folks, and we've got an election year this year. And of course, everything that's toxic, male, straight and white, it's a problem. It's a massive problem. I mean, just look at the goofy smiles on these people's faces. Do you really think they're buying into it? I mean, that oriental lady there in the middle seems to be like, hey, you know what? I don't really give a shit about this, but I'm here for the paycheck. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a big fan of Pokemon Go, isn't it funny that this coincides with the Warhammer 40k announcement that the female custodies were actually part of that Warhammer 40k lore many, many years ago? But of course, Games Workshop have been called out for their bullshit and their crazy narcissism and, and they can't even walk it back now because they're losing subscriptions, which is hilarious. I'll be curious to see what Henry Cavill has to say about that, if he will stick up for the fans or if his Amazon show, which is going to be out in the next couple of years, I would think might actually bring in female custodies. If it goes in that direction, I'm afraid Henry will lose the respect of the fans and there'll be a massive super backlash. So let's have fun, 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 fun. I now need to make sure I reappear for this lovely lady right here. Eve from Stellar Blade. All oh, my copy is arriving next week. I can't wait. I wonder if this is going to be a situation where copies of Stellar Blade arrive earlier than expected. So I'm very curious about that. And also, I might do a live stream regarding the gameplay, but I'm just looking to acquire another monitor to match the one I've got right now, which is a 1440p LG badass NSYNC monitor. It's really good, but it's a 27 inch one and I'm just gonna find some place on my desk of limited space to put the other one on to give it a, you know, a bit of company. Stella Blade and the male gaze. Attractive to who? Interesting. So here we go. Again, an up and coming game that's evoking probably the right and wrong kind of narrative at the moment. 
Stellar Blade, the upcoming sci-fi action RPG from South Korea and the studio Shift Up has been thrust, oh I love that word, into the center of video game culture wars that seem as old as gaming itself. The fight can be mostly clearly seen of late, that's very weird English, in the vocal pushback against narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Stink for pushing to have some, gasp, diverse female characters. Well, if this knobhead called Issy van der Velde knows their stuff, they should know that Sweet Baby Inc, Gamer X, which is G-A-Y-M-E-R, are all pushing for weird, diverse nonsense that's always been around in video games since the dawn of time. But of course, they want to feign ignorance just to get people to go to their websites and just have a look around. Now these vocal few, no, no, it's a thousand, it's not a few, are praising the buxom and bouncy protagonist of Stellar Blade Eve. They say evokes a time when they miss when women in games used to be are you ready for this? Titillating and attractive. She caters to the so-called male gaze. Uh, the one thing, I know you were talking about the, the character from a bygone era. Uh, I do think the character model was actually like very distracting in not a good way because like the, with the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. It's like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. Modern gaming audience. No me, no me, no me. Who coined this phrase, you may ask? It's a woman from 1973 called Laura Mulvey. She's a film theorist and feminist. Do you want to see what Mr. Mulvey looks like? Larry Kroger, all in favor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we need the dudes. Good. Larry Kroger is now pledged to Delta Tau Chi. Next slide, please, D-Day. And that's all you need to know. Denis points out that this is a textbook male gaze. Attractive to who? Asked Denny. To what gender? What sexuality? What nationality? Now, the nationality part is pretty dumb. Like, why would you bring that into the equation? Oh, we're talking about the fact that uh, maybe looking at Stella Glaze is equivalent to me as a brown guy not being allowed to like heavy metal music when he was growing up in the 80s. Uh, why would that stop me? If anything's good, you should just like it regardless of what you are ethnically inside and out. A lot of that choice is assuming a lot of things about who the developers think the player is going to be. Did Shift Up ever say this appeals to male players? They never have said that. They want the character of Eve to appeal to everyone. Women, shock horror, believe it or not, find other women in entertainment very sexy. Are you telling me when Sharon Stone crossed and uncrossed her legs in Basic Instinct that women in the audience weren't turned on? Of course they were. I know I was for many other reasons. And in fact, that's a scene that inspired my signature. And one day I will show you what that looks like. Because every time I see that signature, <laughs> I just think of the long, gorgeous, luscious legs of Miss Sharon Stone. It's nice. While Eve's body was made from a scan of Shin Jae-un's body, her face was in-house, probably after the developer's wife's face, and Shin wasn't used for motion capture. Yes, she was. That's a lie. So you clearly, Van der Velde, don't know what you're talking about. You don't want Shin as a performer. You just want her from the neck down. It seems to be very much a statement of the parts of this woman that are of value. Well, she was body scanned, and they're then going to manipulate that body to do what they want to. Shin Jae Un doesn't have to be running and doing every single thing. I mean, she was standing and posing. And yes, okay, maybe they didn't use her for the extensive motion capture, but I'm pretty sure when it comes to Southeastern Asian game development, they can just take what they've got, the assets, the code, and make her do things that otherwise cannot be done. If that makes any sense, the lack of performance attached to E's body was already noticed by internet culture writer Geeta Jackson. 
Eve doesn't seem to have any reaction to her own sexiness. Gee, really, so a woman who parades herself as a Sunday school tart, or maybe as a street hooker on the sidewalk of New York or Los Angeles, is supposed to take note of her sexuality. The reason why they're called street walkers, they know they're already sexy, they just stand there and wait for male or maybe female punters to walk up to them and say, how much do you charge for half an hour? She has no idle animation except when she's on a ladder. Well, actually, that's when the player can just pause her on the ladder and do what she wants. And actually, again, that's entirely wrong. I did a reaction. I even made my own video where Eve stands in the rain and you can revolve the camera any way you want to and uh, have a good old time. She just stands there. She's sexy, but doesn't know it. Oh, you're referencing that song. How hilarious. She's athletic and acrobatic, but entirely controllable. So you're saying that gamers of the male persuasion like to control Eve like she was a doll of some kind? Is that what you're saying here, Mr. Inverse Columnist? Yes, I'm misgendering you on purpose because you sound like a complete and utter moron. It would shatter the illusions of many of the gamers championing her because she'd have agency to be able to reject them rather than simply be controlled by them. So you're saying that Eve should be an AI that can control herself, not to be controlled by the player. I wonder why this website's called Inverse, and I wonder why they are a bunch of retarded morons. Quite simply, that seems to be the case. And I can't wait to play Stellar Blade when it arrives next week, and I'm going to do whatever I want to with E because she's mine and mine only. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how awful is that? What a horrible take. But you know what's not horrible, folks? You guys out there, because you've been all so fantastic with my channel and watching everything explode. Well, almost everything. And on the one, ladies and gentlemen, if I were you, and if you were me, oh, by the way, do you want to see my bat girl? Here she is. Oh, well, I can't actually, but just bring the camera to her and you can see what she, there she is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't she a delight? Oh. But on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you were me, and if I were you, you should come back for the next video. I'm waiting for you, Norway. Give us a call.